Hello Unreal users, Alex here, your Unreal Guide, and today we are continuing with our loft and we're going to add HDRI image. As you can see here, I have pitch black background, which doesn't look very photorealistic. So let's go and get some HDRIs and add them to that scene. So first thing, I'm going to go to HDRI Heaven and in the HDRI tab, we can click Urban and scroll down to the city. Here we can find the school looking Dusseldorf. All right, this is uh, old city, Altstadt, Dusseldorf. Shout out to all my friends from Dusseldorf, Markus Kotsu, Michel Tauba, hello, mein Lieber. So this was a place that I was hanging out quite a lot with my teammates from Kadman, GmbH. And uh, we're gonna get this as a 4K because 8 and 16, they might be good for visualization, but not for Unreal. Unreal gotta have, gotta process all of that as a game engine. So we're gonna use 4K. We can, by the way, download other ones. I actually downloaded a few more here that are looking more or less, um, I think I got this one, Urban Street. Yeah, we're gonna use this one as well. Okay, and just to test them out, see how they looking in our scene. Now, back to our Unreal Engine. Here we gotta do a couple of things. First, I'm going to uh, download and drag and drop my Dusseldorf image here. And if we double click on that, we can open it. We can see it's looking a little bit uh, blurry. So let's do a couple adjustments. First, let's disconnect the sRGB because well, we don't need that. We're going to use linear. And here, let's add uh, a little bit higher quality to it. And texture size, 4096. And uh, it will take some time to update, to kind of bump up the resolution because, um, you know, we have something that's called LODs. Those are the levels that we load different maps so first we load the small resolution and then it goes higher and higher and higher in order to load the highest resolution we gotta put it here uh, at the maximum texture size this way we'll be able to see it uh, in a full res okay so it takes a minute to update because this image is quite big and it goes into the ram for uh, for processing all right and the image was updated we can see it's pretty sharp but not super sharp if we want to make it really sharp much sharper than this we gotta switch here to uh, MIP gen settings and select no MIP maps right now our image gonna get the highest quality you can see it kind of bumped up and we're getting those all those things looking very sharp and crisp all right so we're done with this that's the HDRI setup so we can click save here and we can close that now we need to go and create new material let's call it HDRI background and in this HDRI background we gotta go and do some parameters so first let's adjust this um, our main material so it's going to be unlit here default lit we're gonna make it unlit because we don't want it to cast or receive any shadows and we're also gonna do it two-sided so it will be emissive on two sides all right now from the emissive color we're gonna do the next steps I actually made a print screen so you guys can repeat it exactly so we're gonna load here texture sample we're gonna normalize it and we're gonna put absolute world rotation where we can add rotation settings and uh, have our HDRI rotate all around. Um, right here we're gonna add a brightness multiplier so we can make it lighter or darker. We can also add uh, contrast multipliers and we can also add uh, tint if we want to change but I don't like adding those. I like to use pure HDRI color not mess up with this too much. Okay, so first let's add all of those things to our map right here. So we're going to add first texture sample. And in this texture sample, 
we'll be able to load our HDRI. So let's do Dusseldorf 4K. And you can see it's put it up already on linear. Um, if you didn't disconnect the sRGB, then you will get an you're gonna get a message here. Okay. So um, let's move forward and get normalize. And here we can do add. Also need to add world position, absolute world position. And we're gonna add uh, rotate axis here. Now let's connect those. Now here, let's do, uh, I'm going to click three and right click. So here we're going to pull a normalize. Uh, let's put a blue color. And here I'm also going to put uh, rotations. So I'm going to click one, right click. And let's convert this to parameter, call it rotation rotation angle and let's connect this here and we'll go to do another one convert it call it rotation position and let's connect this one here all right so our HDRI popped out right here so now uh, we left final adjustment let's do the multiplier so we can control our multiply here so we're gonna run it through this and the exit and here we need to do a parameter oops I'm gonna click one and right click to get a multiplier parameter. So let's bring it here. It becomes dark. Let's call this uh, brightness. And then the brightness, we're gonna control uh, those parameters. So the default value is one, if we want to get um, our HDRI in the correct exposure. And I'm going to do a little bit slightly more. I'm going to put 1.2 so it be slightly brighter. Uh, we'll throw a little bit more light. Uh, but again, we're going to control this. Now I'm going to save that. And I'm going to pull it to the side a little bit here because we need to, uh, we're going to rotate it soon okay now this is where's our background so this is our HDRI background I'm gonna make an instance out of this so HDRI background instance and if I double click on that here we go we have all those parameters working here so we can adjust them so right on a live view we can adjust the intensity we can adjust the rotation okay now let's see how we can add this I'm gonna go and activate my engine content if you don't have it on click it on you will get all of those engine content um, libraries here now what we need to do is I'm going to put static mesh and under static mesh if I scroll down I can find uh, editor sky sphere so I'm gonna drag and drop it right there now into this editor sky sphere I'm gonna get exit out of my static mesh 
and uh, I'm gonna close back the engine content so here I can drag and drop my instance whatever I uh, created just right now I'm gonna drag and drop into this background and voila we having our Dusseldorf background working pretty good okay now let's go and fit it to what we need so the sun is coming so from this direction something like this all right and i think this is this is pretty good this is really really well done all right so let's save that and i'm gonna click yes i'd like to apply changes okay now uh, let's try another map I actually download a second map after you're done this you can just drag and drop this into your um, Unreal Engine do the same thing as we did disconnect the sRGB make this really high resolution bump up the texture oh, right here sorry maximum texture size 4096 click enter wait a minute it takes time to update all right and now let's scroll down put no mid maps on that image okay now we can click save and close it and if we go if we go back to our original um, HDRI here and we scroll down let me open this big here we can select uh, a different HDRI this one was something urban urban street voila now let's click save and close this and here we go we have an urban street of course uh, the lighting is not matching so I have to make very uh, dull lighting here and uh, let's open our parameters here and uh, fix this image a little bit better let's find a good rotation or something like this could work yeah or maybe yeah I, I think this street kind of works much nicer here than this one than the parallel so yeah I'm not I'm not crazy about the storage here in the so the street view could be something that can work for this okay so this is how you add hdri into your interior spaces i hope you guys like this tutorial if you have any questions you can post them below and i'll be more than glad to assist you in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how we can use v-ray settings in order to get the most realistic lighting according to our 3ds max and v-ray scene all right so thanks a lot for watching this is alex your v-ray guy talk soon Ciao.